Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at 8 projects in the play to earn gaming scene which I think are gems, or have a lot of potential to them. Some of these games you might have heard of already, while some are still pretty new and in development. The first game we have for today is Elemon. Here we are at their website and I really like the art style they use for this project. You can see it's heavily inspired by Pokemon, but they have their own touches to make it unique. They have a planned collaboration with Corsair, which I think they plan on making PC parts which are Elemon themed, and I think that's a good step in marketing the project. These three buttons down here are a good sign because they plan on releasing for Android, iOS, and for web. Which is good because even though it says coming soon, at least you know that they have a plan on releasing to these platforms. Because not everyone has an Android phone, not everyone has an iOS device, and not everyone has a PC to access it from web, so this makes it easier to adapt for the players. So this clip is kind of like a sneak peek into what the gameplay will look like on release. I kind of think it's like a combination of Pokemon and Idle Heroes. Uh, it's, a, it's another game that's like an idle RPG where you collect characters and then you just put them on the battlefield to fight and then you collect the rewards after a few hours or days if you don't have the time. I think this kind of gameplay is good for those people who don't have the time to focus on their phones or computers when playing games and they just want to put their characters out on the field and then wait for the rewards. In terms of play to earn features, they have four. There's an evolutionary system, there's gonna be a PvP arena reward and quest and ranking system, and they also have idle campaign rewards. I think the evolutionary system is a nice touch to any monster collecting game because it gives you more incentive to keep playing because you can see how your monster keeps evolving into something stronger or rarer. So this is their roadmap, and here we are on November 2021, it says public sale. It just ended, but it was only available to those on their whitelist. Here are some of the Elemon they want to show. This one looks cool, it looks like a fire dinosaur of some sort, and I really like the look of this one also. It kind of looks like a snowman, but on fire. In general, all of these monsters look good. They have, they really have that nice art going for them. So this is the team behind the project. Another thing I have to mention is that they are also being incubated by Moon Knight, the creators of Faraland, which if you've heard is also another NFT game which is coming up soon and everyone is pretty hyped about it too. Overall, I am really hyped about this project and I can't wait for it to come out. I really like the art the gameplay that they promise, and the many aspects of it like the uh, evolution, the PvP, the PvE, which I think is going to add up to a really good game, and I can't wait for other players in the NFT gaming space to give it a try. Next on our list is a game called Zombie. I found it interesting because it's a shooter game, a shooter NFT game where you collect weapons and loot and you fight it out with zombies in an open world, and it's pretty cool considering that the art style is not half bad at all, and the gaming premise is pretty nice. So you do have to buy your first weapon before you start playing, but after that you can scavenge for more. And whatever loot you find, you can also sell on their marketplace coming soon. You choose from either a male or a female starting character, and then these are I think the starting weapons that you can choose. They all look pretty sick, and I like how they look. This is the tokenomics. Obviously, a big chunk is being allocated for staking and play-to-earn rewards, which is good, and 19% for marketing and community. And this is their roadmap right now. So the trailer is this at the very top, which I showed you. And as you can see, the graphics are not that bad, and they look good. And uh, I like how the zombies look. And I'm pretty excited to explore this world and how I'm gonna find gear and weapons to help along the way. They also have a PvE boss, looks pretty sick. And their partners, their team. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for this game because it's a shooter game. I like shooter games. And a shooter NFT game gets me pretty excited. The next game on our list you might have heard of already. It is Lost Relics. It's a free-to-play action-adventure RPG on the engine platform. For those of you who love Diablo gameplay, Diablo 2, 
this game is perfect for you. It's play to earn and you can get into it without paying a single cent. Yes, you heard that right. It is free to play and you can earn by playing it. While scavenging through the dungeons, you have a chance to earn two items. There are the virtual items, which only affect those in game. And then there's a chance you can get blockchain items, which you own and you can sell to other players. This is the aspect of the game that I love the most because it allows for easier adoption from a larger player base. The game itself is really good. It looks pretty good. Look at the art. I really like this medieval uh, art style for RPG games. It gives it much more of a uh, fantasy feel. And the fact that you can play it for free, that in itself is pretty sick. For those of you who are fans of games like Diablo or Torchlight, I think this is the perfect game for you to get into the NFT scene. It's free to play, you don't have to spend a single cent, and you have a chance to earn while playing. The next game on our list is Binamon. This is another monster collecting game, which I've been following for the past two months, and personally, I've had a good experience with the project overall. With Binamon, you can collect monsters, and you have three ways to earn. You can stake in their farms. There's a battle feature where you fight with other players. You fight your cards against their cards in an, in an automated battle to see who wins. And then there's their play to earn mini game, which I have been playing for, I think, the past month. Personally, I've already made a return of investment on this project, which is why I'm recommending it to you guys. But then again, with anything that involves real money, please do your own research and be diligent enough. If you need any help with this project or anything regarding crypto or play to earn gaming, you can join our Discord channel over at Survivors, where we have a growing community of people interested in the crypto space who are happy to help. The next game on our list is Chumbi Valley. The first time I saw this game, I was scrolling through Facebook and then I saw the artwork of this game and I just fell in love. Here is their light paper. Chumbi Valley is going to be releasing on the Polygon blockchain and they plan to release a game on PC, Mac, Android, and eventually iOS. It's pretty good that they're releasing on so many platforms, which makes adaptation of the game easier. Here's a screenshot of the farming game. And here's a screenshot of the Chumbi following you around while you explore new biomes. And they're just super cute. Here, there's a grass, a water, and a fire type Chumbi. And they also have all of these different aspects to them. Like they have different body parts, which is good because NFTs, you want yours to be unique. So this different combination of parts also makes the game more valuable and NFTs more valuable. As you can see in this picture, there are a lot of chumbi types. So there is a lot of variety for breeding. And there is also a very complex weakness and strength system like in Pokemon. So battles will be far more interesting with all of these types together. The game really has a lot of aspects to it with how you play. You can explore, you can farm. There's going to be a scholarship system. There's going to be a land ownership system. I think this is quite enticing for those who are looking for a play to earn game. And with the uh, good art that they have, it's really not going to be hard for these to sell so much when they go on sale. They are going to be doing a Seed Chumbi NFT sale this December, where only 4096 will be minted. It's only available for those who are either whitelisted or have a Chumbi Fam wallet address. If you're either, then you're one of the lucky ones who will have the first Chumbi ever minted. Overall, I am very excited for the future of this game, and I hope it comes out soon so I can try the game myself. This project looks very promising, and then that's why I think it's a gem in the NFT gaming space. The next game on our list is Starmon. There isn't much to say about the gameplay for this project yet, but the graphics and art alone has made me very interested in this game. The models are just so well made, and it's like these characters were taken straight out of a AAA game. Look at the quality of these graphics. They plan on having a battle mode, adventure mode, and also a breeding feature when the game comes out. They also have plans for a land ownership system, uh, avatar NFT customization, and incorporating AR in the future. 
I personally can't wait for this game to come out because the graphics are just so good and it's interesting that they want to incorporate AR in the future and I feel like this is going to be a huge project when the time comes. Next up, we have Gods Unchained. I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know about this game, but I still added it to this list of gems. Gods Unchained is an NFT trading card game and its gameplay will be familiar for people who are fans of Hearthstone or Legends of Runeterra. The art is amazing and the gameplay is also satisfying and strategic. It's also free to play and play to earn, so you can dive into the game without spending a single cent and still have a possibility to earn while enjoying the game. The reason why I think this game is a gem? Because it is the first crypto TCG game to collaborate with Immutable X, a layer 2 protocol for Ethereum. This will help greatly with the expansion and entice more players to join as the gas fees are no longer a problem. Gods Unchained is a relatively old game in the crypto gaming space when compared to others, but it's never too late to hop in. With this collaboration with Immutable X, I feel like the game's popularity will be even greater with more players coming in. And last but not the least game in our list is Retrocade. Technically, it isn't really a game, but a platform for game developers to upload 80s and 90s-like arcade games for people to play. According to the developers, the reward system is based on high scores for each game on a weekly and monthly basis, and payments are given out in BUSD. It is a nice hit of nostalgia for people who grew up in arcades. That feeling when you enter and have a bunch of coins, ready to have fun, except this time you can even earn from it. The project is still very young, having only started Q4 of 2021, but it is promising and if it does pull it off with enough support, I think this will be a very successful game platform. And that's gonna be it for our list. What do you think about the play-to-earn games that I've mentioned today? Let us know in the comments if there are any more gems you think I missed and maybe we can review them for a future video. Thanks for watching and a like and subscribe would help the channel a lot. See you next video.